All right, guys, before you get started on all this, this is the hybrid battery disconnect. You just want to pull this, push it down, take it out, uh, leave it somewhere where you can see it. That way you don't forget that you've taken it out. All right, do that one thing to protect yourself because if you don't, then you've got around 230 volts here and you don't want that. All right, so stay safe. So I'm gonna pull this out. I've got another one. This is from eBay. So one thing you should know, I, I paid $25 for this and it doesn't matter whether it's the, the plus or the minus, they're, they're the same relay. Um, if you go to order parts for this, you should also know that, you know, at least here in the state of Florida, any part like this is not, uh, it's not in stock. They have to ship it. So you'll not get this part same day. Uh, it just, since I couldn't get it the same day, I ended up ordering it used off of eBay for 25 bucks. All right, so let's get started. Basically, these are all the same nuts. Oh, by the way, if you don't know how to disassemble this whole thing I've got a video on how to replace individual cells I just replaced the whole thing with uh, lithium iron phosphate so we're good there um, but you can do this with just this access panel there's only a few bolts and uh, here's this the strap that holds these two in and you know it's easier to remove this um, because you can raise this up and out of there. So I'm just going to remove this bolt, this bolt, the bolt way down there. And I'm touching it with my finger. <laughs> Not really. And uh, pull the relay out and replace it. Oh, by the way, um, I've got a ohm meter right here. So that video is coming up soon. I've been testing out the, the amount of amps that go through here regularly and on surges and also uh, when decelerating. All right, so stay tuned for that one. It's coming up for too long. All right, sorry, I forgot to mention it, but this is just a squeeze connector. You just squeeze that to pull it out, and, and then it just, with your new one or new to you one, you just squeeze that, put that back in. Uh, unfortunately, when mine was shipped, the uh, hold down bracket got stripped, so I'm gonna put something underneath there to uh, maybe with some double sided tape or something just to keep it from rattling it around. Although these wires are quite stiff and they would provide that. I don't know why they have um, hold downs like this, but you see there's not one for the opposite side. And uh, here's the other battery. It definitely has two hold downs. Whereas this one does not. So, anyhow, let's reinstall this and call it done. And of course, you can test uh, continuity before you install it. Make sure you didn't get a bad one. Uh, you just put your own meter from here to here. And if there's any continuity, this one's stuck as well. But generally, these things will get stuck um, if you're running on the interstate and you hit a bump. The computer wants to disconnect and then reconnect, um, acting as if you've had a car accident. So these will disconnect, see that there's no accident, and reconnect real quickly. And um, But since it wouldn't let go, then... Um, it said there was something wrong all right so using a pair of electricians uh, cutters or strippers I pulled this one back off and back and then you have to push uh, this one you have to pull it up and over the bolt because of this uh, column meter the, this is Toyota's column meter this is my own one that I can monitor all right, so if you don't want to pull it up and over, you can take that one screw out right there, and that'll release this column meter um, where you can lift this up. But 
if you just take the, the, the cutters and pull up, you can get this up over it. And then this one wire here, you can just, there's no voltage now, but make sure that's flipped down. So you pull it up and flip it down. That'll cut all your voltages. But uh, yeah, pull this out. You know, pull this out of the hole. Now you have the whole thing open. And you can just pull this right out. It's really not that hard of a job. The hardest job is actually going to be getting uh, to your hybrid battery. Because you got to take all the trim off. But again, uh, I got a video how to replace the Toyota individual cells. So just the intro of that video will show you how to pull off all the trim uh, to get to this point. So I am replacing this one with this one. And one quick tip, uh, you know, if you drop any things, of course, you can use a magnet to pull them out. But when you're reinstalling, uh, I can't find anywhere where it talks about the torque specifications. So what I do is instead of holding this like this and ratcheting it down, uh, I ratchet down really quickly and then I get as far up and take away all the leverage. And then you go real slow and you can just feel it when it gets to that point where, you know, you can tell it's fighting you back, that's when you stop. I've done that for a lot of things where the tor torque specs weren't specified and I've never stripped a bolt yet. So there you go. All right guys, so after you've uh, removed and reinstalled this, if you still have the triangle of death, but you can hear the relays clicking over in the back. Uh, you need to, if you don't have a Torque Pro or something OBD2 where you can clear the codes, you just need to start and restart this. And if you got the triangle of death, you got to take your foot off the brake in order to turn it off. So you start it, foot on the brake, power button, and then you turn it off, foot off the brake, power button need to do that three times and after that it'll clear the codes for you and you'll be up and run but if you have an obt2 then you can just go in and clear the codes and you'll be back up to normal all right thanks for watching see you in the next video probably be this uh column meter i will let you know all right thanks for your support cheers